We're building 80 new beds at Helston Hospital. We're building three 16 bed wards, brand new, and then we're going to be refurbishing two of our existing wards for a further two 16 beds, so they will have a total of 80 beds. Each of those wards will house different service users based on their needs, so they're going to be needs type environments. And then we're going to have a centralised hub, which is really exciting, which will have a number of shared services, therapy and activity services. We can really maximise the experience for service users and staff. We're also going to have the benefit of a, a gym area, both indoor and outdoor exercise space, which is really important for service users and carers. We're really lucky at Helsen that we've got a lot of green space already, and it's really important that we bring that into the development. We've been really lucky that we've been able to get lots of time from service users, carers and staff working with the Trust and we've been developing a lot of our plans based on feedback that we've been receiving, particularly from service users and carers. They give us a very different perspective on some of the environments that we're looking to build and there's often aspects of the design that we would not normally think about in terms of the experience of what it's like to visit these areas, to essentially live on some of these areas and it's actually challenged us as a trust in terms of the solutions that we're looking to design. We've got some really exciting designs that we've been working on over the last two years essentially um, and we will keep doing that right the way through to the start of the build. Carers and service users have been involved in shaping the designs from the beginning of the plan right back in uh, September 2019. I'm a carer and I joined the group about a year and a half ago. Uh, we all come with experience and knowledge and we're taking this chance to influence the outcome of this project. We would like to have the best possible environment for ourselves and our loved ones when they're at most vulnerable. We want an environment that aids recovery and this is a chance to make a difference. Our knowledge and experience is always valued. And it is clear that we have been listened to, so I would say that if you have any experience of inpatient units, either as a service user or a carer, I would encourage you to get in touch and get involved. What we really want people to know is that those plans are still in development. We're now at detailed design stage, so there's still real opportunities for service users, carers and staff and wider members of the public to get involved and tell us what they like, what they think we could improve on and what we could do differently.